It is now time for the fifth episode of my series about how to knit stranded color work. And in this episode, I will knit this pattern, which in Norwegian traditional knitting is called lice pattern. And it is when you, in a regular manner like this, just have one pattern stitch, just little dots, almost like your sweater is covered in lice. So, I'm now just going to show you how I work to knit a pattern like this and try to make it as even as possible. And of course the three things I think about when I knit pattern is to keep my uh, keep my yarn in the same place. My choice is almost always main color close to me, pattern color away from me, and that I am consistent in keeping my yarns like this and not switch places. And after that I try to focus on my tension or not not really focus as much but just focus on keeping my hand relaxed enough to allow the yarn to float and move over my fingers as I knit and at the same time not let them go entirely. I also very often check how it looks on the wrong side. How do my yarn floats look? Do they sit close to my knit work as they should or do they sag? Or are they too tight? If they are too tight, I have an example of this here where I pulled the yarn earlier. You will get a lot smaller and less visible stitches. And vice versa if you have the yarn too loose. So I will just begin to knit. And you can see how often I slightly pull on my stitches just to check that I keep the same tension and that it is not too loose or too tight. I check a lot how it looks on the wrong side. And this will get more efficient as you get more practice but um, this is going to sound like I have been up too many late, late nights lately but my lies aren't perfect either and I can either accept that and say that some lice are small and some lice are big but I don't. I would like all my lice to be of same size and therefore I always check and feel my network and I check the wrong side to see what I'm doing and that I control my result and this the movements I'm doing now they're actually not not planned I I react and I do this every time I feel that I have to because I've done it so many times and I would use the same technique for lice, for stars, for whatever pattern. The principles are the same. And if you are struggling with the tension on your yarn, what I do is that I hold them like this, nearest yarn over my index finger, the phone far away over my index and middle finger, 
but I very often need to, you know, do like this and start again. I try to hold my yarns when I when I am to take a hold of my yarns. I do like this. Stick my middle finger in between index finger between the knitwork and the first yarn and then I try to hold my knitwork so that I use this part I have already knitted as um, a break or retarder for the yarn and I relax my fingers here or tighten them to allow more or less yarn to move through my grip and over my fingers and this is a matter of practice so you just have to be patient and for some this is not a good idea in the first place they like to hold the yarn in a different manner and you, of course you do what is what's working for you so now this is how my lice pattern looks I'm actually quite happy with it and um, and I think this is um, these have similar enough size for me to want to keep doing what I'm doing now so that's it um, and this is also the last episode for now in my series of color work knitting and if you want me to demonstrate something else related to color work knitting or to explain something differently or perhaps better, um, let me know and I will try to and I will try to make another video. Thank you for watching.